I'm Dr. Dina Porterfield, president of Roberts. When students are on a team, they are committed and go all out. I hope you enjoy these game highlights. The Roberts Wesleyan men's soccer team was back on the home pitch Sunday. The Red Hawks took on the New York Institute of Technology at the soccer stadium. One, two, three, yay! New York opened the scoring in the 21st minute. Rory head with the goal and it was 1-0. The Bears added another late in the first half and it was Martin Sundell taking advantage of the loose ball and Roberts was down 2-0 at the break. Red Hawks keeper John Savaglia made several big stops to keep the Bears off the board the rest of the way, but Roberts just couldn't break through and score, and 2-0 was the final, as the New York Institute of Technology defeats Roberts Wesleyan. You know, giving up two goals like that, you know, it certainly wasn't the best two goals to give up, but you know, we battled back in the second half. First half, you know, we came out a little slow. Second half, you know, we just told the guys it was 45 minutes left in this game. We got a week off until the next one. Might as well go out and just leave it all on this field, and that's what they did the second half. Right after the game, our coach said that, you know, we still got to play for pride. You know, we play for the seniors, uh, me and then a couple other guys. It's our last year, so you we want to go out with some wins. So we have a few games left in the season, and I think that we can win those. Well, they'll play for pride. Um, you know, they didn't like to... Uh, uh, to go down like this uh, today, certainly we had much higher hopes and you know we felt like we had a good game plan on Friday and uh, today. It just didn't pan out for us unfortunately, but uh, we'll be ready to go uh, come weekend and I expect 100% effort. We're proud to support all of our student athletes at Roberts. These highlights are provided courtesy of a special friend of the Red Hawks.